So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Query video. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can split multiple columns into rows in one step without any error. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so here is the case. You see here we have a table. Normally you will see things like this when you're importing from PDFs. That instead of reading everything on one row, if you're a line feed, so things like that, it will read two rows into one and then you need to split them. If you go to home split column by delimiter, let me show you. So it's going to understand there is a line feed and say, okay, I'm going to split it and it will do it. You can actually split it into rows. You've probably seen this, but in case you haven't, you have here the possibility to split into rows. But the problem is that you will duplicate the information. So you need to be able to split things first before expanding. So the perfect way to do that is with a list. Let me show you. So we're going to do this step separately and then we put everything together so you actually see what's going on. So there is an M function called text split. And then we want to split projects and we want to split it by, this is a line feed. So the line feed, it is written like this. It is in the documentation. And if you do that, you will see that it will split everything into lists. So if we do the same with this one and that one and that one, and then we expand them, we can do everything without, you know, having duplicates like we did with the text split. So you could actually do one for split this, then this, and then this, and then combine. But how about we do everything in one go? So this is what we're going to do. Let me copy that, throw it up there. We're going to delete this step and we're going to do everything in one go. So we go to custom column and we're going to do the thing that is going to put everything together is text combine. Uh, table from column. Columns. I'm checking the syntax because I don't have M in Prelicence. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Those are lists. So we need to put that. And then we are going to put the exact same thing that we did on the column. But we're going to do it for each of the three. So here we have one. We're going to put another one and another one. And then we need to change. This is not project. This is every stories. And um, this is not project, this is right summary. My feed. Where is my oh uh, we need to have th that one and then we need to have uh, that one and then we need to have that one. So we need to close everything properly, right? Otherwise we're not we're going to get all tons of errors. So this will close a list and this will close text, text from column. And if you put it together, you will see here that you create a table with the things split in. You just then, ex well, the, the easiest way is to just remove the columns and then you can just expand to your heart's content without this annoying. Let's get rid of that. Right, so this is what we wanted from the beginning. Now, there is a problem here. If we go up here and on summary column, we're going to delete that. And if we have a blank column, you will see here that it expands correctly. It doesn't have a problem because blank is the text for a power query. But if we have null, let me show you. I'm going to change this. for null. Come on, move. So I'm going to change the blanks with nulls. So we get a proper empty. You know, there's like empty, there's nothing in there. And then if I go in here, you see they'll give you an error because it cannot convert null to text. So what you need to do is to make sure that if you have nulls, you go and do a replace, replace values, and then you replace the nulls with blank. 
and then it will work. So if you go no, and then you, if you don't know if you're going to get nulls or not, just do it this step anyway, in case they show up in the future. And then it will work all over again, okay? So no nulls for this transformation, otherwise you will run into trouble. And what I was having on my PDFs is that, you know, columns shift sometimes when reading PDFs. Even if it's the same PDF, you will see that column one suddenly is column two. So if you are doing things with those columns, sometimes you might get nulls. So this is a good thing that you can get the column one and two and remove all the nulls so you make sure you don't get an error when you're cleaning the data. So that is all. I hope that this trick is useful for you and you avoid any errors in the future. Um, enjoy your day. I will see you again on Wednesday with another video. And until then, as always, take care and bye-bye.